Hey guys, Armor Gun here. Time for a new segment. Brought to you here with my dog, and we are we're gonna have a little Armin rant, aren't we, buddy? Yes, because you guys in the comment section, sorry, but you all being ignorant, and we gotta talk about it here. Now, I've used assault rifle <laughs> a number of times on this channel to describe certain rifles. I only use it when it applies, but never never fails. <laughs> and it's not by small number. There are a lot of you out there that are like, don't say it. Why you say it? Love the content, but just don't say that word. It's bad. It feeds the machine or the propaganda. No, I'm sorry. Um, it's it's incorrect. What the, the term you're thinking of, the nonsense political, you know, made up term is assault weapon. And when you think about it, that doesn't, like, how do you define that? Any weapon, any, any object used to assault something could be considered an assault weapon. Therefore, it's kind of a meaningless term. However, assault rifle does mean something. And it has meant something for a very long time. It's something that militaries use, something that, that companies that manufacture things use. And it's not just a marketing term. It is actually meant to describe the type of firearm that they're selling or making or using or, or whatever, you know? You also have submachine gun um, and you have battle rifles and you have heavy machine guns, cruiser weapons, like squad automatic weapons, all those things. Those are all definitions of firearms. Now, assault rifle has come under scrutiny because it is, well, there's the whole issue with Ah, uh, this being an assault rifle. And this is not an assault rifle. Um, this is, and, and that's not to say AR-15s can't be assault rifles. We'll get into that. But this AR-15 is not. And the answer lies right, right there. But on the same breath, this is an assault rifle. Because there you go. This one as well. That one, we'll talk about that as well. The whole storm rifle argument. Anyways, guys, the point of this is, don't be afraid. It's not, it's not Voldemort in Harry Potter. Don't be afraid of the word. Don't be afraid to use it properly, because um, otherwise you're just giving more power to that thing. Fear of the name only increases fear of the thing itself, or they said in that book. See, as dangerous and scary as these are, my puppy Argo is cuddled up right next to them, taking a nap. So, can't be that bad. Anyways, <clears throat> that said, the technical definition of an assault rifle is a mag-fed firearm, Magfed rifle, that's what all these are, chambered in an intermediate caliber. So you look over there, you got a few in the middle there. 5.56, five, 300 blackout, 7.62 by 39, and then they get bigger. On the other side, they get smaller. So on the smaller side, some machine gun, on the bigger side, battle rifle or cruiser weapon, different various things. But it's a specific range that denotes two assault rifles. Um, however, we have not yet described an assault rifle. The most important aspect is the third thing, well, it's, it's, it's kind of, it, without this, it's not an assault rifle. And that is capable of full auto fire. Okay, again, safe. <laughs> That's an AR, it's not cocked, so I can't even go there, but safe, fire, and nothing. Whereas this is safe, five seconds of ecstasy, and uh, semi-auto. So it's different there. And that is the key difference. When you're talking about an assault rifle, it is mag-fed rifle, chambered intermediate cartridge, capable of full auto fire. Missing any one of those, it's not an assault rifle. And if you only got the first two, that's just a, you can call them a modern sporting rifle. You can call them a sporting rifle, just a rifle, a de defense rifle, anything you want to call it, um, but it's not an assault rifle. But if it is, don't be afraid to use the stinking words. Now, other people like to say assault rifle is a made up term. It was whatever, whether it was marketing or political, whatever. Um, and that's semantics. There's probably lots of inconsistencies where that maybe was true. Obviously there's, there's cases where the media has used the term assault rifle incorrectly. They talk about AR-15s. And that's why an AR-15 can be an assault rifle. Because the original, like, there's an M-16 and an AR-15. The M-16 is a military name for a gun, okay? That's, like, they adopted it as the M-16. This is, this is, this is the Beretta 92, um, but it was adopted as the M-9, okay? So it's not actually called an M-9 unless you're referring to the military's designation. This is a Beretta 92. So the M-16 is just a military designation, okay? They actually, they bought AR-15s. They bought select fire AR-15s that were capable of full auto fire, thereby, you know, it's a, a assault rifle for the military. The M-16 was the select fire variant, and that's fine. However, there are millions more of these in private citizens' homes and collections and whatever that predominantly are semi-automatic only, and therefore they are not assault rifles. You can rest assured, anytime I'm talking about an assault rifle on my channel, I'm talking about, like, I've got, I, I do actually get access to a ton of historical firearms here. Many of them are original select fire guns. That's just... That's how history intended, okay? So, who am I to meddle? Now, there's the Sturmgewehr thing, because where did this whole term come from? Well, 
you know, Sturmgewehr. Well, they, they, people say that, well, that, that translates into assault rifle. Um, if you're going for meaning, yes, I believe it does. If you're going literally, which this pisses me off, it means storm rifle. Well, no, it's storm rifle. The, the term is storm rifle. It can't be assault rifle. It's storm rifle. That's a literal translation. <laughs> yeah, I can use Google Translate too, buddy. Um, but it wasn't a gun that fired hail and lightning. Like, it's, it's not meant for that. And if you take the literal definition of things from other languages, you, you miss a lot of context. Because there's things in different languages that have different meanings and connotations that don't directly translate. That's just the way it is. I've studied languages in school. My wife's a huge language nerd, and, like, this is the case all the time. Another perfect example of this is machine pistol, okay? Well, machine and pistol, which is the German uh, word for submachine gun. That's why you have MPs. Machine and pistol. Machine and pistol 40, okay? Is that a machine pistol? No. This would be a machine pistol if it was the Rafika, or the uh, 93R, which, uh, a little foreshadowing. But that is a pistol that is capable of a lot of fire. So that, that, there's a machine pistol, okay? Uh, however, the, the actual translation in English would be the submachine gun, which is what we call them over here, okay? And that's since taken on the, uh, the, the, you know, the formal role of that class of firearms. So when you're talking about Sturmgewehr, storm rifle, it, that, that means assault rifle, okay? So that was the way we were able to best describe that and translate that into English, the meaning from German. So that is one potential, you know, origin story of that. Um, this being the, and there's also the Federov Automat. Okay, that was, that, the rifle cartridge on that thing had over 2,000 foot-pounds of energy. Like, that was not, it's not an intermediate caliber, okay? It's not. That would be like a battle, a very cool gun, very cool gun. Um, that was the other one point I wanted to make on here as well. Is, and there's other examples of guns too in history that are, you know, commercial things or, you know, some country might have taken a commercial gun and turned it into a full auto at one point that was chambered in something that was loosely, you know, equivalent to an intermediate cartridge. But no, so I actually pushed back. I called this the OG assault rifle, which I stand by because it's the OG implementation of that whole weapon class and role and, and utilization. So anyways, anyways, that's, uh, that's the rant. To sum it all up, it is simply to say assault rifle when it is appropriate to do so. And if you actually want to be part of the solution and not just part of the problem, educate others when you get the chance on the proper usage of these terms. Anyways, with that, check out the new merch. Merch. Bunker branding, freaking love the stuff. I guarantee you will have a boom diggity good time in that merch. And uh, with that, Argo and I will sign off because I gotta get my ass to work. Armor gun, out. Boom diggity.